How's it going everybody? Today we are going to be talking about Tron TRX. Exciting things in the workings for Tron with the TVM launch. So Tron's definitely making some big steps forward. The Tron community is certainly reacting as uh, you know Tron's been really flexing its muscles and demonstrating to us the vision that Justin Sun is bringing to the table as far as the cryptocurrency community decentralizing the internet and essentially this is going to be the pattern of events that we see unfold as things continue to move forward and we take the different steps towards massive adoption of these different technologies. Personally I don't think that people really understand what the Tron ecosystem is going to look like when it's fully in place when people are playing games in the decentralized and learning uh, points for their achievements um, Tron is essentially creating the foundation of a digital community and at the center of it TRX is really going to be a, a very very interesting variable as things really start moving forward I just really like the idea of people putting cryptocurrency in a digital tip jar. Uh, the fact that hashtag seed it, they have reached this important milestone of 18 million um, in terms of Tron coins uh, tipped since the platform went mainstream. This is some really interesting stuff. This shows that um, Tron's active in the day to day world and that people are using relevant uh, digital media. And you know, for those people out there who care about the environment, who care about seeds, who care about uh, uh, you know, basically phasing out paper so that we could use essentially a more, uh, you know, eco-friendly and stuff like that. I mean, Tron really does fit into that so, sort of whole category, that sort of trend of what we've been seeing building. And I think that that's really an interesting start. So this is a really good, uh, you know, news article. Definitely some good publicity for Tron. Um, definitely aligning them with a lot of uh, interests that are probably going to be. I, it's always interesting to see this sort of, um, you know, news article. Obviously, nothing too major but at the same time um, you know all good publicity is good publicity uh, you know Tron TRX towers the cryptocurrency skyline so Tron's been definitely making some really advantageous uh, moves forward at this key strategic time. We're definitely seeing, um, you know, Tron's leveraging the fact that uh, platforms like Facebook are in decline. Uh, Facebook really ran into some hot water with the way that they were treating data. Um, and essentially nobody who's hip, cool, the younger kids are not using Facebook anymore. They're migrating to different platforms. And ultimately we're witnessing that same sort of demise across the board with Twitter, Facebook, Facebook and all these old platforms that are essentially just getting old. Uh, I mean, they still are going to be relevant for the next couple of years, but they're tickering away slowly by slowly. And um, you could already see this by sort of the corporatization of these websites as far as like YouTube goes. Um, we've talked about before how the number one most subscribed YouTube channel on YouTube, um, PewDiePie, is soon to be passed by a corporation. Um, and essentially, that's uh, opening up a huge market for Tron because when Tron goes online and they basically are providing media and really fully competing with YouTube, uh, I would say that a lot of those independent content creators who might feel alienated by YouTube's platform, um, essentially just starting to uh, hype up like Jimmy Kimmel and all these other people on you could see on their homepage, it's quite obvious that YouTube wants to be Netflix. YouTube doesn't want to be the uh, platform that provides the content that was essentially the root of the building of their platform. Platform. Really, 2005, the whole point of YouTube was you. YouTube. It was about having people on there, you know, just sitting in their rooms like I am, just essentially talking to a webcam um, and making content for the people out there to watch at their homes. And that's what made YouTube great. And I think that that's fundamentally the real possibility that Tron has. It's essentially um, cryptocurrency opens up a real opportunity to reinvent the internet in a way um, that's essentially going to mold it in the original philosophies of what a lot of these different platforms were originally created for. So when you talk about something like Tron taking a decentralized approach to providing media well that's definitely a game changer that we need to be paying attention to very significantly uh, as we see the essentially the natural course of actions taking place because the more these platforms like uh, Facebook who are guilty of censoring their user base or algorithmically manipulating what people are looking at on their website that's no good because that leads for a recipe of people being stressed out and seeking out alternative methods the fact of the matter is that 
that these uh, platforms need to be seen but not heard. Um, essentially, it's very, very bad publicity for Twitter to be in the news so often in so much trouble for all the various different shady things that they've been doing behind the scenes. And I'd say that every social media uh, platform is guilty to this to some extent. And essentially, they need to get out of their own way um, or else they will be replaced by uh, projects by visionaries like Justin Sun. It's also interesting to see like the crypto recorder, for example, uh, speculating that Tron could be the one to dethrone things like uh, Ethereum. Uh, you know, Tron blocks is here. So it really is a time to re uh, reimagine strategically the way that we've been um, perceiving these different technologies and what's going to be possible for them uh, in the near future. And I would say that as these different uh, you know altcoins that are a little bit lesser known, like essentially Tron and so forth, uh, and, a, and in particular, I'm also going to um, pay attention to uh, Cardano at this point because all these different technologies have had a chance to learn from the mistakes that were made by a lot of these other cryptocurrencies. Um, in particular, when we talk about the different decisions that Ethereum and Bitcoin were forced to make because they were the first to market, um, the first to essentially provide this sort of digital currency, the um, new concept of digital gold. Um, and then essentially now we're coming to a new era where, um, because realistically people aren't going into uh, McDonald's and buying uh, Frappuccino with Litecoin. They're not buying um, their Dunkin' Donuts coffee with Bitcoin. It just simply isn't happening. There isn't a means, there isn't very little infrastructure available for the everyday person to use this on a large scale. But one thing that cryptocurrency stands to have a very interesting opportunity is um, in functionality, in people using cryptocurrencies in their day-to-day -day lives. Um, and this is going to be uh, showing up and looking in real time like people watching videos using cryptocurrency using blockchain to send messages back and forth and so forth and all these different things are made possible by this new opening of cryptocurrency and the fact that all these old platforms are taking such a centralized approach and trying to maintain and hold on to the power as long as they can well that's essentially a recipe for disaster now certainly I don't trust these news articles I don't trust any news realistically I try to just listen to everybody and then um, figure out the facts facts um, and then from a data analytical perspective make uh, you know my conclusions based on my own understanding now obviously remember this video is for entertainment educational purposes only you know obviously this isn't advice by any means but when it comes down to it um, you know these news articles definitely are a very interesting indication of what the public consciousness is when it comes to these different technologies so make sure that you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about Tron. Where do you think Justin Sun is going to take this project? Obviously, it's important to have a conversation down in the description below. Um, that way we can all learn from each other's perspectives. And I think this community uh, is really going to some interesting places because I don't know, if you're watching this and you're interested in cryptocurrency, um, you're definitely way ahead of a lot of the people who um, you, know, you might be running into on the street and so forth. And maybe as a little homework, assignment for everybody who uh, is watching this video maybe you should go and talk to somebody about cryptocurrency and explain to them the significance of this sort of uh, revolutionary technology and how it's going to be opening up the doors for the future to be here sooner than we know it so uh, very exciting things uh, and I think that we definitely do owe it um, to those around us to basically keep people up to date and not essentially just watch this uh, historic moment happening to ourselves and I would say that speaking as somebody who's been been paying attention to cryptocurrency for a, quite a number of years. Um, I would say that seeing the different um, leaps and bounds that Tron's been making, and while looking at the team that's been working behind the scenes on Tron, um, really taking it where it needs to go, uh, I'd certainly say that Tron is very much one of the cryptocurrencies that's in the running to have um, a very significant future as things continue to um, progress um, at the speed that they already are. And I mean, I would say that 2019, 2020, these conversation points are going to be right on the public public space. Very much people all across the world are going to be having this very similar conversation about where technology is going to take us because we're at the very start of a paradigm shift right now and it's going to trickle down to all different elements of society. And when we say that, we mean it. I mean, it's essentially cryptocurrency can outperform so many other of these old legacy systems um, and it'll do it with its pants down. I mean, it's crazy. So all that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure that you guys follow us on Snapchat and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Thank you.